Hi guys, in this video I'll be showing us four different ways of importing data into Power BI. There are several ways but I'll be focusing on four. The first one from flat files, um, relational databases, from JSON files and from web pages. So watch. Once you launch your Power BI, this is what will show first for the screen. So you can come here and press get data or you can just close this dialog box okay so you come over to the home tab and click on get data once you click on get data you see a lot of data sources that you can connect to and import data into your power bi for analysis so the first example is importing from flat files basically flat files are files that have single tables and their rows are usually of the same structure examples of flat files are csvs your text files your excel files etc so here i'm going to import a csv file into power bi so here i'll come down to where i see text slash csv and i'll click on it once i click on it i wait for it to connect so it has connected so i'll just go to where the file is the file i want to use for this analysis and click on it so this is my csv file i click on it and i click open so once it's trying to connect once it's done connecting you see a preview of the um of the file in in power bi so you see down here you see load transform data and cancel of course if you load the data now it goes directly to um your power bi screen where you can um your power bi um report page where you can start to create report but it is always best to transform your data first so once you click on transform data it's going to open up the power query editor and on this editor you can make transformation you can clean your data prepare your data and make sure that all your data are void of errors so that you can go ahead with your analysis so once you click on it it actually brings your data to this power query editor so this is the first example import this is how you import a file from a flat file this is how you import data from a flat file into power bi before you can go ahead with your analysis so that's that for the first one the second one is from relational data um, relational database so here we don't need to go over to um, Power BI home screen, the reports page again, right from the Power Query Editor in the home tab, you come to where you have new source. So it's just going to show you the sources that you can import data from. So here we want to use a relational database and my database is SQL database. So I'll go over to SQL Server and click on it. So when I click on SQL Server, a dialog box open so this dialog box gives me an option to impute the server name and of course the database name which is equally optional then you see where we have data connectivity mode this is just telling you the different modes of storage for power bi so the default mode is this import we have another one which is direct query right now i'm going to use direct query because i want to connect to my database and this database this particular database has a lot of data in it so i don't want to import all the tables locally into my power bi to avoid performance issue i want to have a direct connection to that data source so i'm going to use direct query so i can come here okay i'll first of all type my server name i'll type my server name here so of course your your database name is your database name is optional but you can decide to type it too so here i come to click direct query so direct query i want to actually use a sql query to import this um to extract this data and import this data to power bi remember like i said i don't want to import the old database into my power bi so i'm going to write a sql query so i come over here to click on advanced options it shows me a place where i can write my sql statement so i want to import data from two tables in my sql database so here if you're familiar with um 
SQL, you know what this statement means. So here yeah, I'm basically saying that I want to copy all the columns from a particular table, which is named a particular table called orders and another one called accounts. So from orders join on so if you notice i use join i did not include inner join left join or right join because by default sql actually uses left join by default so what i'm using is actually a left join which will give me all the data from the first table and maybe any other matching um data from the left from the right table um account account id so this is my sql query basically i'm selecting from two different tables that's why i am using join so i'm joining the two tables together so I click on OK. Once I click on OK, it has displayed the data that I want the way I after joining it, it has actually displayed the data the way I want it. So here I can just click on OK. And since we were already in Power Query Editor, it's going to load it to Power Query. It's going to load it to Power Query Editor. So I can come here and change the table name to cells because it was a cells or that table that contains cells um, record. So I'm just going to change it to cells. So that's how you can create a direct connection to your SQL database. That's a, SQL is a relational database. That's how you can create a direct connection to your SQL database. Then you bring it here to your Power Query to make transformations and prepare your data and actually fix up your data types and make sure that your data do not contain any errors and setting null values that might make your visualizations incorrect so that's for that for importing to relay from relational database the third one is from a json file so json actually stands for um javascript object notation javascript object notation is basically for storing text and transporting text so here i'll click on new source then we'll go to more because json is not listed here we'll go to more it's going to display all the other data sources that we can connect so there are several of them like i said but this video is focusing on only four for now so i come over here to json and click connect so i have a json file here that contains nba games and i'm going to click on it and click open once i click open it is trying to connect it's trying to connect to just try to open the json file so yeah a dialog box has popped up it's asking me if i want to import the file or direct query remember what i said about importing this json file is a file that has over thirty thousand rows and is such a large file so it's such a large data set so i don't want to import them indirectly i don't want to save the local copies into my power um power bi so i'll just create a direct connection to it and of course here are my data from nba games which is being displayed here so if you look right here where this you see that power um, query editor has already expanded 
each of these columns for me it has expanded the table expanded the columns that's why it is displayed like this so most of the times when you are importing json files you have to extract and normalize but in this case power query already did the work that's why we're seeing all these applied steps all these applied steps because any transformation you do in power query is always displayed here so all these applied steps shows what power query has already done for this data to open up to this point okay so that's how to import data from json files and over to the last one importing data from web page or website so here we'll just go back to new source when you go to new source you click on web when you click on web basically just put the type the url of that particular web page so we want to get some data some cryptocurrency data finance thirty dot com slash creep to current so once you type the URL you click OK and you wait for it to connect to that web page or the website you wait for it to connect so it has connected to the website and it's going to display different tables in that website. So before you extract something from a web page, you already have an idea of what you want to extract. You already have an idea of, you already know the objective of your analysis and what data to extract from a particular web page. So here we see that um, the the Power Query has connected to the website and it is showing you the different tables that are available in this website. Okay, so here I want the first table. So what Power Query does is as you are clicking on each table, it's going to show you a preview of whatever table that you've clicked on. So you know that, okay, this is the table that you want. This is what you want. So any table that you want in Power um, power um, bi just click on it and power query is going to is going to bring up these tables for you so when you're done with that you click on okay once you click on okay it is going to display directly in your power query editor okay so you can of course make transformations as the need so like in in cases of this now you've seen that there is a sign in column that does not contain any value whatsoever and it's not an important column so you can just come you can just come and remove this particular column and make every other transformations that you need to do on this particular data set so basically that is how you can import data from different data sources into Power BI. Like I said, there are a lot of them. So you can try your hands on the other available data um, sources that you can import data from. And also try out those ones. So that's that for this video. So thank you so much for watching. If you learned something, please like, share and comment and if you have any concern or any question just type it in the comment section i'll be available to answer thank you so much